David Tell, Hot Cross Buns on All right. this Tuesday. Hey, hey. Check it out. Back oh, go, to my, go to my clip. I posted it today. Oh, great. I think we saw that with the recorder. Yeah. That's a great, great yeah, promo. go ahead. Say it like you mean it. That's great. <laughs> but what do you think, Winnie? Stick <laughs> your tongue out if you like it. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. You huh? got to start from the beginning. Give it up for graphics. <laughs> That's some good, clean comedy fun. Uh, awesome. You can put more laughs in there, right? Yeah. yeah. Where did you shoot, SF? What's that? You shot an SF? San Francisco, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we all saw it, all right? <laughs> Cobbs. So when I last was on the show, it Bachelor was your party. Bachelor oh, party geez. show. Now he's yeah. divorced. And so. Matt was the uh, photographer, and now I see he's an unpaid intern. Oh. <laughs> right, so I don't know what your next uh, job is. <laughs> but things have changed. That's You're moving on up, buddy. We actually right. used to pay you. I think we've, we have. You, yeah. Are you still paying him? No, nah, nah, we stopped. <laughs> All right. He told me not to. Oh, great. I said, buy me dinner anytime we're out. Still haven't done that either. <laughs> Look into it. Wendy's after the show. On yeah, May. dollar menu. <laughs> yeah, I shot the uh, special in San Francisco at Cobb's. And you guys both love that club. Love Cobb's. It was yeah. a great one. And the audience was hot. Mm -hmm. I mean, that SF audience, they were really good. Yeah. And uh, been playing there for decades. And um, I said, hey, can we shoot it here? And they're like, you know, not many people shoot stuff there. I thought like a bunch is n not really. So. Yeah. But it's like one of the last like un untouched venues, you know. Totally. Did do you find that SF has gotten a little groanier, or is it about the same? I don't know. I think my crowd comes out for the for the jokes. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But I think they're they're kind of done with that. Like the you know. Oh, they, good. They're done with that kind of like you know. Uh, you shouldn't laugh at that. You shouldn't laugh at this kind of thing. I think they kind of had it. I mean, they yeah. really kind of you know. Yeah. Well, enough smash and grabs will get you to exactly. Eat it you know, roll your windows up in your car. Yeah. <laughs> Remember those days when a joke stops working in SF? I think you still got like a few years in like St. Louis. You know? <laughs> right. I was just right. in St. Louis. Yeah. They don't laugh. They they won't groan anymore. Yeah. They're they're beyond that. Um. I don't know how's the road treating you, fellas. It's great, oh, man. Great, living the dream. Just you guys are really so hardcore. I mean, I'm so impressed. Every weekend. Every weekend. I, that's how I, I feel like if I'm selling tickets, I'm going to go get them. And how many, like, what would you say is the best time to go back to the same venue? Like you a year? Give it a, a year, year, a year and a half. Yeah. Depends who you ask. I don't I mean, some people are like, you, you got to make them want you. But I'm like, oh, they'll have me back. I don't give a shit. Wow. Sure. But it's you just be... can't stop, though. That's what it is. I'm stopping. I just taped a special over the weekend. So I'm done for, uh, I'm, I don't have anything on my calendar right now, but I'm really, I need to write a new act. I, I don't have a, right. yeah, but right now. that'll take you like what, three months? I mean, no. you're, you're the most, you guys are the biggest turno turnover guys I've ever seen. No, in no, life. You can turn it out. It's crazy. No, you, you fucking, you and Quinn are like the reason New York comedy is what it is. Oh, I you guys say uh, stagnant. <laughs> don't throw Colin under the bus on that one <laughs> no you guys like it's it's like sports it's like you look up to like the people who you know oh that's nice who are hardcore and there's a reason your comedy is so I good like sports he can't get out of bed yeah you know, but you know, <laughs> an ankle. since you did um uh, I can see Winnie is uh, moving, so that means uh, he can smell a lie. <laughs> <laughs> now you trained him <laughs> to smell out the hypocrisy in our government. No, I was going to say, Colin was my role model. I always looked up to Colin because he was the funniest, he was the smartest, he was the quickest. And um, I know that he does like a show pretty much, uh, you know, he's always working on material too. So, yeah. you know, when the crowds are popping, there's nothing better. So, no. you know. Do you go on early ever anymore? Uh, I'm early? going on early. I'm trying to do that now, break that habit of like oh. always going on late. The crowds are a little different. You know, sometimes they're um, a little more, I guess you could say adult, you know, that kind of thing. But, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, I don't know. I think that going out on every weekend is probably the best way to go now to work on material. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I agree. Like you'll probably get more done on the road in front of your crowd. And I always thought it's better to bring it in front of like a, a crowd that doesn't, you know, like just a regular crowd, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, but it seems like that's where you get a lot of the moans and groans now is it, yes. it's a showcase crowd. That's a real eye opener when you have your crowd and you're, you're kicking, you're shucking and jiving and then you do another crowd that's not yours and you're like, oh, I'm the devil. Yeah. Everything <laughs> I'm saying is terrifying and their no, their ears are bleeding. I, I got to make some changes. And do you question the material after that? A little. I mean, you want to kind of meet halfway. Mm -hmm. When it's new, you question it for sure, I think. Yeah. Well, that's another thing. It's like, when do you throw it away? You know, that's. I know. 
Well, since you guys are turning it over, like, you know, honestly, it's like uh, it's like a hot sheet hotel with you guys. You guys are <laughs> changing sheets every every couple of hours with your material there. Yeah. I mean, do you feel like uh, by the time you put it on tape that the joke is done or are you still like have that regret when you see it? Like, ah, oh, I could have said it that way. Or uh, Well, you always get that regret, right? Because you're, yeah. you're doing you're going to do a few of those jokes to survive mm -hmm. the next few weeks. And then you're like, fuck, there's a tag. And then you're right. like, do I cut it from the special and, and, or do I leave it? I don't know. Oh, see, that would be the best if you could cut it out and then kind of like re rejuvenate uh, it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I love that. That would be really good. How about you? Is there anything? All of them. Every one of them got better the minute they said cut. Ah. Like every joke I thought was like, <laughs> oh man, I should have said it that way. <laughs> right. And um, also like, you know, technical problems, all that kind of stuff where you're like, you know, um, the guy who directed my special, Scott Gallick, is great. And he really, we did a lot of time with editing. And I think specials are made in editing. I really yeah. do think that editing, you can cut out a lot of the fat, you can move things, and that you have every right to do that to make it a better show, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. I mean, honestly, you, you, you're free forming it up there anyhow. Like, you know, the way you think it's going to go is never the way it goes. That's Would true. You agree? Yeah, that's true. And then how many did you do? I, I did four when I shot a special. Two. Four is the, is the is the money. Sh that's the best way to go. Four. You did four. Yeah. It's Nate Bargassi goes, if you can't get in two, I will lose respect for you. Oh, <laughs> two? <geez. laughs> and I said, uh, well, well, I'm doing four. Yeah. So. In my defense, I shot on St. Paddy's Day weekend. So the first two oh, were come just on. moot. That was too much. I did yeah. Thursday, Friday. So I was like, I, I need at least a weekend, one weekend night, you know? Yeah, for sure. But, oh, yeah. Why'd you go Thursday, Friday? Because someone was at the Wilbur on Saturday. Damn you. That's another great venue for a shoot. Great. Man, that place is it's everything you want. Man. It's a theater, but it's small. I mean, it's like great sound. Those three three tiers right at you, you're like, oh, that's fucking, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Did you shoot anything at the Garden when you played there? I shot the show, but I didn't. Um, yeah, that's what it looked like. It looked pretty cool. Wow. Yeah, that's that. really good. Is that a Heil? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, man an opening high constricted in that suit I, i'm not used to wearing a suit so i was like that's Fuck what it. hitler said i was <laughs> you guys are right on the same page that's what i was i was john yeah. mccain i couldn't get yeah, higher yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> look at that that's, that's a great. beauty man you look like a senator yeah and you're wearing a suit too mm -hmm. who's whose idea was that you're that was nate <laughs> Mm -hmm. Nate, that was another Nate. He was like, wear a suit. You never love wow. up for a special. I was like, fuck it, I'll do it. You wore a blazer in one of your specials. You did. Uh, yeah, but that was back in the 90s. We all had to then. Right. That wasn't, right. It wasn't the Captain Miserable? Well, whatever it was, we they kind of were like, you got to dress up, you know? Right. But I, I don't think that, you know, me wearing a, going up there wearing a three-piece purple suit is really going <laughs> to change the audience's mind on me, you know? <laughs> me dressed as, of course, a, pe a, pe a preacher in peach. You know, I don't... You know. What about the summer nights coming up? Because you got the headband, the hat, the jacket, the boots. Well, you know, as we say at the car wash, <laughs> that would be great if your dog growled. Yeah. Now, that would be a tell. <laughs> His life on the streets. Yeah, right. May I? Thank you. Go ahead. Well, Go ahead. Guys. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think you guys are that drunk. I think you guys are really kind of growing up a little bit. Well, I'd like to be, but I didn't want to rub it in your face. I Go got, ahead. I got rub a away. Ulcer, so coffee's bad enough right now. But okay. Are you guys coming off a hangover? No, I have an ulcer right now. so I'm uh, Awesome. Yeah, not fun. Welcome to the club. That's great. So, uh, How often do you get them? <laughs> do you think it's a stress one or is it from booze? Probably both. Yeah. That's cool because people are like, wow, this guy must be really, really like tense if he's getting an ulcer or something. <laughs> like Somebody's just like, yeah, maybe we should be eating all that brine at the bar, <laughs> you know? I OD'd on tum yum soup. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nah, man. Come on. That's your next job. <laughs> <laughs> the glass nah, retriever. You walk wingy right now. Yeah. yeah. Save the energy for when you clean up after. <laughs> well, are you taking care of yourself or not? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, you eat a salad every how, now and then. Uh, how about you? Well, this guy's ageless. I mean, look at him now. <laughs> Honestly, you care. really are doing it. I don't know which bald one you you, you kind of represent, but <laughs> no <laughs> acting lately for you guys. I mean, honestly, what does Nate tell you to do with <laughs> Nate What is Oracle. your muse? What, uh, how about you? Are you taking care of yourself? Look at me, guys. Come on. Uh, it's you so look funny. like Wingy a little bit. It's so funny. When I walked in the hospital, people yeah. actually thought I was the, you know, a walk-in inpatient. <laughs> we got a live one here. They pulled the gurney out. But you you exercise, right? Don't you do kettlebells and stuff? I oh, used yeah. to do that. Then I had a shoulder operation. Don't mm. do not do it unless you're supervised. You know, this whole like, uh, hey, I think I could figure it out by watching a couple of tapes. 
you got to have somebody who knows <laughs> who knows how to do it. I do a little, um, you know, um, uh, some shadow boxing before I walk out on stage. <laughs> Maybe some jumping up and down to get some of the, the nerves out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you, I do some stuff. Yeah. What do you miss more, the blow or the booze? Mm, that's a good question. Um, I guess in the in these times, both are um, both are kind of passe, correct? I would say it would be um, fentanyl now. Fentanyl, yeah. I kind of wish I kind of stuck in for that game. That would have yeah. been really a great. <laughs> well, now the kids like the Adderall, which is really kind of the, the, you sure about that? The pussy boy Coke, you know, it's like the college Coke. Mm. I like that pussy boy Coke. You like the Adderall? I like it. Yeah, I like I like the. You can write a little bit on that too. That's true. Your brain is it's flying. like roids. Well, you know what they say: there's no day off in heroin. <laughs> So, I got to commit. <laughs> How about this? The other night, had a long flight. Flew to Tucson, two flights. Middle seat, both flights. Brutal. Mm-hmm. Do a show. We go out drinking, and I go, I'm getting some sleep tonight. Hotel. I take a pill. I thought it was a sleeping pill. Adderall. Stayed up all night. Oh, God. And what'd you do? I just laid there and jerked off. You finish your essay? Wow. Yeah. Brutal. You didn't, you didn't just like... uh. You know, because I have to go outside to smoke in these hotels. They're non-smoking because oh, yeah. that's how you guys wanted it. <laughs> so <laughs> it's always the person working the uh, the front counter at night. That person, that weird person. Sure. You see, and you're like, go out and then come back in. And then you're like, maybe I should say something like, hey, it's kind of chilly out there. And then you're like, no, they're in their own head. Oh, you yeah. know, they're waiting for you to do something. They could probably have a panic button under their. <laughs> there you go. Hey. Yeah, I hate that. I hate. That's why I don't like a doorman. I don't you don't like a doorman. Him. I don't want them knowing me going in and out, who I'm bringing in. I don't well, want any of that. Who are you shit. bringing in? Well, you <laughs> Is your know. wife? I don't know. What's <laughs> happening? They just think, who's that? Guy? Do you make your your wife do the perp walk when she comes in? She puts her coat over her head. Yes, yes. <laughs> Blur her out like a Chinese porn. <laughs> I like a doorman. I, I, I'm out of town for ten straight days. I get some packages. I, I know someone didn't steal them. That's yeah. True. What Our about best. your merch? You know, you got to have someone there for the time for the merch. Yeah. Bodega Cat sweatshirts. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, the the package we had a lot of packages stolen. Yeah, so that sucks. But that's okay. I think you're keeping it as they say real. Thank you. Right? A- Just like in Sex in the City, did she have a doorman? No, uh, she might have. Her boyfriend did. I think it was like Ant or, or Mario Cantone or something. <laughs> Ant, oh. remember Ant? <laughs> yeah, sure. He was on the show. I I used to like that show. Yeah. That was the times when you can get a reasonably priced brunch. Am I right? <laughs> oh. And just sit there and throw lines. And a throw yes. shade on each other. A lot of Cosmos. Mm. And, uh, Todd Berry was on. I mean, they yeah. had everybody on that show. They made a lot of careers. Gaffigan. Yeah. Sure did. Yep. Pull yeah. that out. It was all comics back then. Yeah, because it was a New York show. And it was gay, written by gays. So Whoa, uh, easy. Man. Well, it was really funny. <laughs> Have you seen the new one? It's brutal. Yeah, the new one is the kind of like... Sorry, we never had anybody but white, oh, Asian, yeah. privileged people in the show. Yeah. So. Oh, the old episodes are crazy. One of them bangs a black guy, and they all make fun of her. <laughs> That's like a whole episode. It was a hell of a show. And he was a hot dude. I know. That guy was a, he was a handsome dude. The 90s. Yeah. Also, no, the, it was like women fucking? This is insane. Also, you knew they were fucking thrilled. They killed off Chris Noth like the day he was Me too Yeah. And he was gone. They, how do they plan that? With that a Peloton. Crazy. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. So what's your ideas now for sitcoms? Because you must be getting approached by multiple platforms. Let's start with YouTube. Oh, getting approached? No. Yeah. YouTube approach. hasn't reached out to you. <laughs> <laughs> How about telephone? <laughs> 4chan hit me. I don't know what to do with it. I hear uh, Newsmax is uh, interested. <laughs> 4chan. <laughs> Newsmax, I'm going to do a comedy special with them, I think. Yeah, Roseanne's on board. <laughs> so now that you've done, like, how many specials do you think you've done now? This is six. Jeez. Now, this would be the time to do, let's say we're musicians and not comics, okay? Yeah. This would be the time where you put out like a Sam Morell Essentials. <laughs> and it's just bits from the other ones and you want to get paid. Like, just like, you know, from each yeah. one of them, like just like another 10 minutes. And like, hey, that's Essential. cool. I didn't do anything. <laughs> the must have. Yeah. Because <laughs> in music, you really, there's a lot of great dodges in music. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah. And then you can get somebody else to sing your tune. Oh, and then you yeah. get paid on that too. Right. Oh, then Billy then- Joel wrote one new song song in the last 30 years and everyone's like oh my god <laughs> he's got a song and then a lot of these bands do the uh the reunited tour and they do that like eight times that would be yeah. great you could reunite with one of your openers and go it's back right here we are again yeah what was your name <laughs> we need to break up so we can reunite there that would go. be great now yeah. we're talking we gotta have like a we'll have like a fake beef yeah <laughs> yeah you fucked my wife well you know six specials fake, fake. fake. Yeah. oh shit 
How many? Um, <laughs> sorry. Whoa, this is awkward. Now, right. I fucked. Don't Winnie. tell his doorman. <laughs> I just in Winnie's eye. So let me ask you this, okay? Yeah. Six specials. So how many? How many did Carlin do? Fourteen. No, no way. More. Really? He did more. Oh. It was fourteen hours. I, was I think kinda, I had like twenty. He must I was have done so many. Really? Hold on, Matt's doing the uh, thing here. Is, isn't he the reason? I'm talking Carlin, not AI Carlin. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, intern. What are we not paying for? Because that's what you got to do. That's the that's what you have to go for now. Uh, Twenty specials. <laughs> what does that say? His first 14 stand-up specials for HBO. Boom! Wow. Come 77 on. The to autism 2000. comes. I mean, it's a lot, but that is you know. 14 back then was unheard of. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, and like you know. And there's a lot of. Bangers. I always, I always wondered, I always wondered how he worked out that material. I think he wrote it all and just like went up and did it. I saw him live, and he did a lot of working out. It was rough. Really? Uh, he got heckled quite a bit. Too. Where did you see him? I saw him at the Biloxi Casino. Oh, Ooh. nice! It was rough. <laughs> Not where you want to see one of the greats. No, it was the only thing I could afford, and I could yeah. drive there from New Orleans. And he. he do the dirty words. And he was like, shut the fuck up. Oh, I love that. Let me work on my poem. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you what's wrong with the power grid. <laughs> yeah. um, even though we're in a casino right now. But it was a, it was a lot of that time where he was doing like, I'm uptown, but I'm downloaded. But I'm back door, <laughs> but I'm front facing. You know, it was a lot of that limericky shit. I like they weren't that. having it. But that's hard to work out uh, if you're getting heckled. At a casino yeah. by a bunch of toothless Mississippians. But it's funny to see on Twitter now, the Republicans and the liberals are both claiming him. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, every time there's a bit, they're like, see, this is him making fun of liberals. They're like, that's making fun of Republicans. They're like, they both think that he's theirs, which is like kind of great. I know. That's where you want to be. But don't you feel bad because like uh, like the new people, like young people, like, so like, who do you, who did you like? And you'll say like Carl or something like that. And then they'll go and listen to him. I feel like it's so out of their wheelhouse. Like, I, I don't blame them not getting it or wanting to watch any of it because it's it's too dry for them, I think. You know? It's dry and it's angry. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's super angry. It, it just seems like, you know, that's not their, their, their style, the way they are presented with things now, you know. You got to yeah. find, what, but it's like a music. You got to find which one to start with and then you kind of work your way. Yeah. Like, like jamming in New York is such a fucking classic or, well okay. i personally i personally like the earlier stuff just because of the joke writing ability yeah. and his his yeah. ability to like like it was a whatchamacallit a complete chunk of material yeah so i was like wow i wish i could do something like that he also was great at remember that um muhammad ali joke he had that was incredible how does that go that was I, pull that up the carlin muhammad ali one it's basically about how he he dodged the uh draft but it's a killer bit yeah he's like he would be he was allowed to beat people up but he wouldn't kill people and yeah they got in trouble for not killing people so they won't let you beat people up or yeah. something like that but yeah so would you say that the that nate and shane are the guys who are like honestly taking it to the next level right now i think there's a ton of people i mean there's a ton no of i mean you guys are in that crew but like uh i was talking about the comedy boom and how like you know i i thought it would be over by now you know my joke is like you know put all that time into juggling or, you know, all the, the next thing, what's the next thing after comedy, you know? Yeah. But like for you guys, like, it just seems like it's endless, you know? Yeah. Hopefully. I mean, I, I don't know. We're in a boom for sure. And who knows when it'll end. So I think just keep capitalizing on it for sure. But I think you guys powered the boom, you know, it's not like, oh. it's just like, Whoa, it's, it's happening. It's like, well, you guys powered it. Well, you see the shit like Burt Kreischer doing arenas with the fully Burt, loaded. Awesome. Like, well, what's yes. going on? This is a new thing. And there's just so many avenues to get comedy now. I mean, I mean, I guess there's, it's harder to make a comedy movie, but these podcasts, yeah, that, people just consume this shit. Oh, they love it. But isn't that isn't that the other thing? Is like they they actually will come out to see you. So that's yeah. the beauty of it, right? Oh, so yeah. it, it definitely is like a loop where they get to like get to know you and then they come see you. So I think that's great. And I that, think it's great too. It's good for everybody else too because right. you know hopefully. It's not just a uh, fan of one person, but of comedy, which is, I think most of my fans are of comedy. They go see multiple people, you know, mm -hmm. when it's just of one person, you kind of question that person. They're like, you know, it's kind of like, you know, I, I don't know if they're like, like a star, like it's like a whatever connection instead right. of just like comedy in general. You know, I'd rather yeah. have the fan of a lot of comics than just that one person. You know? I feel like a Taylor Swift fan is not going yes. to see Katy Perry, Madonna, and True. Taylor Swift. It's just Taylor Swift. Right. Whereas yeah. our people, I think you kind of, I don't like to give LA a lot of credit, but they kind of started that. It was like you had Theo and then Theo and Santino are friends. And then he's friends with Bobby Lee. And then they're friends with uh, whatever. And they all kind of co uh, commingle. And then now you like Segura. Now you like Brad Williams. Now you're. It's awesome. Yeah, like a lot of crossover. It's like uh, Hamas and Hezbollah. You know, <laughs> <together. laughs> no, I think that's, I think that's true. I also think that, uh, you know, 
uh, the more the, the the more good comedy that gets out there, the more like you can help everybody you know yeah yeah but yeah, you're that's still up against than when you started right because back in the day you're kind of all going for this one spot and now you can kind of yeah. all but it also was a hack fest and i still have some of the hack in me but i'm just saying no, like don't. no the the whole idea of like what was good comedy and what was bad i mean it is subjective of course but like there's enough fans now that way they can i, I think they can smell the easy joke or the uh, kind of like tired premise you know yeah well that's one place america shine because you go overseas and you're like Wow, you're still doing the uh, all the plane made out of the black box? Like, really? It's still over here? It's- I think also this this stuff has hurt audiences' attention spans because it's so there's so much shit out there that they've become spoiled. So now, you know, you listen to a podcast, you throw it on the background. You're not paying full attention. Mm. And I think that sometimes carries over to a live show where you're like not fully invested. Interesting. That's true. I yeah. agree because as a guy without the podcast, I kind of see that in the crowd too where it's like, the people that heard about it on a podcast don't really get that now they're at a live performance and they just kind of want to sit and take right. it in. Yeah. And it's like that that energy suck ruins. It, it makes it harder. It's just not not as fun. You know, Yeah, you'd almost prefer a little rowdiness than that. Just kind of listening. I yeah. miss comedy movies, too. I, I hope that comes back. It's like Hangover was on TV when I was on the road. I was like, I hope they make movies like this again. This is a fun movie. Yeah, yeah, there is. Why is that? Why do you think that happened? Because they the don't. I don't think superhero they turn on it. They see. They make money on like in the theaters. They make money on horror, and superhero. and superhero. They don't make money on a twenty million dollar comedy. I heard it was DVD sales used to power comedies. After uh, they were in theaters, they would have a small run in theaters, and then DVDs yeah. would go crazy. Now people don't buy DVDs, so they don't make them anymore because they don't make money. But if it can go right hand. to streaming. Just put the shit on streaming. I think Good Bill point. Burr's movie did great numbers. Yeah. But no one's going to go to a theater. Well, what about Burr and uh, what's his name? Um, uh, the other guy who did a comedy movie recently. So those are comedy movies. You yeah. Know? But like, I know what you're talking about where it's like the hard R movie. But those, Easy. yeah, they're real. Yeah, well, I don't think that's going to happen, you know? <laughs> yeah. Hard R. hard R movie. I think that was called Get Out. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh, wow. Hey. Oh, boy, it is. Uh oh, scoot over. Hey. Hey. Sit down. Hey, I know. this is gonna this is gonna sound a little a little weird, but Ian, you left your water bottle in my car. Okay. <laughs> so that's the name of my comedy movie. Don't sit on a window here. Adventure, a buddy. Is that Ashton Kutcher? <laughs> that's all. <laughs> Thanks for keeping it safe, Dave. I left my wallet, my jacket, and Ecto One from the Ghostbusters last nice. night. So I'm leaving my. Did you shit see the everywhere. Ghostbusters uh, Ghostbusters movie? No, it's coming out on the 22nd. Okay. But I filmed... uh, (laughs) What'd you say? I said, so are you. (laughs) No, I'm like the first one. I've already been out. (laughs) Uh, And I was born in 84. Hey. Well, I'm going to leave. You and Norton were ahead of the game on the trans. Yeah. Well, Norton crawled so I could walk so DeRosa could run. He loves so, <laughs> you're like, that's Play that Carlin bit again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, do you remember earlier when the podcast was about me? Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> yes, Norton does like to be on all fours. Mm. But. He's uh, he's married to one now. I love it. That gives me hope. <laughs> <laughs> to one. That. Is that legal? Uh, hey, you know those things. Could I, you don't do that. Do you want to? Your move, buddy. Do you want to burn some books? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Is there an no. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Why not? We only have one. Shit. Here, use this can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. You missed a lot of great stuff. Adderall. We were talking about a lot of road stuff. You know. Yeah. yeah. You guys used to. I used to open for Dave too. Ian used to open for yeah. Dave. Yeah. You used to open for him at all? Or no? Yeah, from time to time. Yeah. We're yeah. Doing the mothership this week, next weekend. Oh right. hell yeah. Yeah. That's the way to do it. Yeah. Sam is definitely one of my most successful proteges right now. <laughs> yeah. Sam, Amy. Oh. I mean, yeah. honestly, yeah. yeah. Wow. It's the way to do it. Uh-huh. You were the best to open for, man. You just like. Go on. Truly. He's, he really <laughs> is the best. crowds are incredible. It's really the oh, best yeah. gig. I really do have great crowds. And they, uh, you know, it really, he'll tell you, like, anything goes with these people. They get it. You know, they really um, don't um, take offense mm-hmm. on anything. And they really love jokes. I think that's really the hard thing. 
hard crowd to find now because a lot of these younger crowds, I think, when they smell a setup, then they kind of feel like they have the right to turn off because yes. this is not this is not your personal truth. <laughs> it's something that you've manipulated to, yes. to touch them somehow, you know. Right, right. So I'm like, you know, but you were know. you actually molested, Dave? Well, well that's the point yeah. of it. It's like yeah. exaggeration, all that kind of stuff. If you're using it for funny, I think it's part of it because like course. we have very few paintbrushes in our easel or whatever it is there, you know, like. T telling a story is difficult to begin with. Like Nate is a great storyteller. I think he's yeah. probably yes. the top. I, I mean, I've never seen a guy so comfortable and so fluid like that. And like, yeah. honestly, it's beautiful. But like for what we do, especially like, you know, the fucking, you know, scoot and move kind of comedy, you know, <clears throat> it's difficult because you're changing randomly going from one thing to another and all that kind of stuff. Now, you, of course, as a physical comic, I can only imagine <laughs> the amount of stretching you have to do. <laughs> Trying to include everybody. <laughs> the first time I like pitch a joke to Dave. I was like, well, I was thinking about doing this thing. He goes, uh-huh. Now make it funny. <laughs> oh, See, everybody has all these tough love stories. I mean, Bert brought that up to me, too, when I did Bert and Tom's podcast. I saw He's that. like, yeah, you know, you got to bring new material and all that stuff. And I go, these are the stories you should tell while I'm waxing your tour bus. You know? <laughs> it's like, Bert, you won. You're a winner. <laughs> no, it's uh, the best. It made me so much better. Of course. Like you need that. You need someone to be like, be funny. You well, know? you don't want him coming after you. Oh, and yeah. crashing you because you got to open. So he gets to go on after you and well, just yeah. say whatever he wants. Yeah, but, then, what, but then it's like, that's, I do want him coming after me. So I rise to the occasion. Sure, you know? sure. And then right. he'll be on stage. Just wait till I'm dead with all this talk about it. And be like, I, it's called a new jokey and try it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From the stage, it's the best. It's yeah. The best. <laughs> no, not a lot of people. I don't say that. My. Dummy does. <laughs> <laughs> no, but not a lot of people that you're opening for care enough to be like, do new shit this show. And yeah. Dave, Dave will say that. Yeah. Well, it's, it's also you're the middle and there's like the sweetest spot. So you might as well like yeah. throw everything out there. I mean, you don't have to close the show. You don't have to open it. So you have the best spot on the show. You might as well like take advantage of this great crowd or whatever it is. You know? Yeah. I used to open for Louie and, and you'd say something humorous at dinner. And he's like, you got to open with that. I'm like. We're doing a giant arena. I'm not going to open with that. Yeah, I can't open with it. the N-word. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> he loves the N-word. So wow. I would open with it. It would bomb. He would go <laughs> the side of the stage. Like, well, that's balls, though, like in an arena to like to do that kind of stuff. So that's like super comfortable, you know? Well, he was, I think, toying with me. But yeah. Sure. It, mm. it never worked out. Not once did it hit. Mm. And then he would go, can I use it now that you bombed with it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take it. Wow. We Might Be Drunk is brought to you by Joy Mode. Faster is better, except when it comes to sex. If you're struggling in the bedroom, time to check out Joy Mode. Their sexual performance booster is an all-natural science-backed supplement to give your Johnson all the tools it needs, and nothing it doesn't. Joy Mode also supports your blood vessel, cardiovascular and health plan, athletic performance, blood pressure, and general erection function. Mix it up with six to eight ounces of water and drink up 45 minutes before sexual activity. You'll love the results. I put this puppy right in my day quill and I get it all mixed up. Put it Damn. in my smoothie, my coffee. You never know when you're going to have a romp. That's a day. Oh, yeah. Well, the Girl Scouts keep ringing the doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to your sexual health. No headache. I love it. <laughs> you don't want to cut corners, so skip those sketchy gas stations, ED meds, and get Joy Mode. Go to usejoymode.com and get 20% off with code DRUNK at and checkout. 20% off of free shipping. And with free shipping and use code drunk at J O Y M O D E dot com. So, arenas, do you correct? Do you like them? Or? I haven't done arenas. I mean, I've uh, opened for people in arenas, oh, okay. but I, I, I'm doing theaters, not, not arenas. Do you I miss the clubs? I just did two and a half months of clubs to okay. tighten for the special. Right, I love yeah, the club. Really, sorry, I should have done some research. Here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you miss the outdoor um, pandemic I do. Rooms? That was and where it really yeah, shined, yeah. I think. Yeah, those is, parking lots. Yeah, <laughs> next to the pigeons and the homeless guys peeing. Mm. That's me at my best, yeah. I kind of liked it in a way because it made me have to do a bunch of stuff that helped me later. Like, I couldn't just like stand there when a mic goes out and I, I'm like, why am I even writing with you? I'm in Central Park. Yeah, I can jump off. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, I can jump off this roof. Right. Just... I, so I like would like walk through the crowd and just like yell at people. I was like, oh, this is a lot funner than like <laughs> just try it. Like one time I ate a sandwich during my set because Shane Torres dared me to. I was like, all right, why the fuck not? <laughs> did, you, did, did they deal with them in Central Park? Oh yeah. oh, yeah, I did a few. That's Central the worst, because if somebody hates it, you can see them walk away for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a walk out, like, oh, 
<laughs> I think he's getting in the cab. No, 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 no. <laughs> it was a nightmare. <laughs> Mark had a great line. He was like, I played a show in the park. I bombed a joke. I actually heard a cricket. <laughs> yeah, I did a field, yeah. But really, those outdoor shows, like, some people were doing well. Those drive through gigs, they looked horrible. They, like, honked the horn. They were, yeah. They did yeah. RFK Stadium. That, to me, well, was I, like... That was a nightmare. That was, uh, yeah, I dragged those guys out on that one, too. But that was, it almost was like an apocalyptic world of where, like, you know, the car people and this crazy <laughs> lighting. And, like, it was like a re-education camp, you know, like, where you're, like, up there. And, like, you have no reaction coming from them. And then you hear, like, some honking starting. And you're like, okay, you know, I got yes. them. I got them. Honking was big. And if you're really killing, you got the wipers. Yes. Oh, yeah. And big. then, of course, the pop the hood. Yeah. <laughs> and then the flashers get the fuck off the stage. Yes. And then a sideshow. And then the next thing you know, there's, you know. Someone's laying in blood on the street. <laughs> I was getting emails from my agent like, I got you a roof. I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is sad. I, we did so well, many of those. We did it. We did a ton of roofs that together, you and I. We had yeah. fun. I kept, I tried, to, I taped a special on the roof with Matt and, and Ian. And I mean, every night I'm like, we got it. We'd like celebrate and get drunk. And then I'd be like, that was terrible. We got to keep, we'd have to keep doing it. We did like, what, a month of roofs? Yeah. Do you remember that one roof we did where you had to take your shoes off and be like barefoot up top because they had fake like- They were like tech sharp. people. Yeah, tech yeah. people. You had to climb up a ladder. You had to take your shoes off? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Roof. No way. It was a fancy roof. We, we were all over. We were grimy roofs, nice roofs, all uh -huh. kinds of stuff. Wow. Damn. Yeah. You were a real Batman and Robin. <laughs> with you out there. <laughs> hey, like the fiddler. <laughs> I was more of a diddler. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> P. Diddle. Mm. But you really are like, you know, we, we all learn so much about comedy from you because you were just a dude who would kill with good jokes. It was no agenda at all, Dave. It was really, like, yeah, for real. I like them, you know, as I get older, I, I think, um, like I can't even put two thoughts together now. So it's just like, they go from silly to like, just sad. These jokes, you know, <laughs> a lot of them are really just like, when you think about them, they're just sad. And do you ever like say something like off the cuff and like, you're like the crowd really laughs and then you're like, well, that's a hit. And then you listen to the tape and you're like, okay, I got it. Then you do it again. You realize it was just, in the moment you had them in your timing it had nothing to yeah. do with any thought process yeah. like they weren't even thinking they just went right to like muscle memory That's and it's sad because then you're like oh, okay i thought that was like a keeper it's you not trying you know. the riff yeah oh. you can't recreate it oh. you never yeah. can this so guy's really good on his feet now i That's trained great. him up yeah. Yeah. you are good on your feet. I love, you two together is gold now i love it really is up there. thanks guys yeah. yeah so making him laugh on stage is like the best thing in the world it's so mm. fun but I do have one of the best fake laughs in <laughs> <laughs> They wanted me at the Oscars. Can you come out, just sit in the front row. <laughs> yeah, what do you guys don't get like tapped to do any of that kind of writing? Oh, that's. I would mean, you do it? Would you've you want to do you've that? I, I've the... done a few yeah. Oscar things, but never like, like hired. I never like yeah. flew out there or anything. You yeah, know, it's always like writing for... jokes. For he went out naked before John Cena just to see. Yeah. <laughs> to <laughs> test the waters. That was yeah. the best with everyone on Twitter be like, see. See, they make it's they, it's the ritual. Yeah. They make them get. Yeah, what do you think? That's shit, right? That, that, what? I didn't hear anything. Well, pe Quite. people think it's a humiliation ritual that uh, John Cena went out there naked. They're like, they're they're like he's wearing a dress in his movie. It's like black conspiracies are bleeding over to the whites. Right. <laughs> it's like he what? looks incredible. He probably wants to do. Yeah, really. Yeah. It, it, it would be different. If it was a fat guy, right? Right. Yeah. Exactly. Although that would be funnier. But yeah, look at this. He's like, ripped. But it also well, he was presenting like costumes and he, and he waddled out and then paused with great comedic timing. And the first thing he said is costumes. <laughs> and it like blew the room. Oh. Yeah, well, it's. I don't know. We'll get Stavros out there. Oh. That, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You wouldn't even need guy. something to cover it. It'd just be <laughs> belly. <laughs> right, right. He's already got a sandwich there. <laughs> yeah, he takes a bite, then he, then he announces. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do they have like a best comedy now? Like, do they have yeah, that? At still, the, oh, that's at the other. Still okay. no comedy. Did you guys see Ricky Stenicki, Cena's movie? Oh, uh, no. Cena, Jermaine Fowler, I saw the trailer, Andrew Santino, yeah. Zach Efron. It's really funny. Oh. Come on. Peter Fairley. Dude, I'm telling you, watch it. It's like a 90s comedy. Wow. Oh, it's nice. hilarious. Okay. It's really, really good. Cena's amazing, man. He's a great. He's a he great was great in Blockers. Guy. Remember? Blockers. Yeah, yeah, he was. I saw that with guy. Mike Lawrence and we both cried. <laughs> next to each other. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Ian, you're in a movie, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have what, one line. What movie? Are you in? What is that line? Come on my back. 
<laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. Sorry, that's one of our riffs that we do. Uh, what movie are you in? Uh, Office Race. It was Office uh, Race. Released on Comedy Central. My line is, uh, I'm yelling at Beck Bennett. He's like running. Oh, and, fuck. and I <laughs> roll him in a truck and I go, nice shorts, jerk off. Hey. Uh, you know, the claim to fame. Office Race. Yeah. All right. I'll give you Sal, Sal Volcano's in it. Hey. He plays a chicken like running in the marathon. It's fucking hilarious. It's like wow. a great cameo. Yeah. I thought it was about a affirmative action. Holy shit. <laughs> You've been how you've been here how long now? How many names have you dropped? Well, I, I, just <laughs> I counted Beck and Bennett. That was two. That was uh Santino, Cena. <laughs> but the Oscars, let's trying. face it. The ninety six Oscars. Oh uh, guys, <laughs> come on. I feel like they used to be cool and now it's just like who no one cares. You just wait for the Twitter or whatever they're gonna buzz from it, you know. Mm-hmm. They just take Oh, you see piece. Pacino flub uh He flubbed? Well he flubbed he's supposed to name all the nominees. <laughs> he just went Oppenheimer. He didn't oh, name all the best. Ooh ha Oppenheimer. <laughs> Oppenheimer. Well, Pacino. He's gotta, he's gotta be ninety five, huh? I was He's old enough to nut in a woman 50 years younger than him. God I was bless driving him. in L.A. and I saw him shuffling down the street like a homeless man yelling on his phone. <laughs> really? Sad. Amazing. Sad. Yeah, yeah. That is like kind of how, that's like part of being famous, I think, is just yelling into your phone. I saw Alec Baldwin doing that once. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, that was cool. Would you go to an Oscar party, though? Of course. Oh, there you go. Yeah, for the now story. In- yeah, Vanity Fair. Come on. Mm. He looks got a full head of hair. He looks really good. <laughs> I think he had a stroke. Yeah, he sounds like RFK Jr. I thought he was the president of Venezuela. Who is this guy? <laughs> right. Yeah, I see Oppenheimer. Jesus, I take it all back. <laughs> what the hell happened? That's uh, acting, people. That's <laughs> the age. How old is he? I'm going to guess 83, 70. I think. No, he's got to no. be. I'm thinking 90s. 83. I'm thinking 88. No, he's 70s. 88? He's in his 80s. 83. Oh, yeah, wow. 1940. Wait. You see all the headlines being like 83-year-old knocks up 30-year-old? Oh, oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. I just saw the video. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I didn't see the uh, the headline. That's great. Wow. Is that the gal? Yeah. Why would you? Oh, why would what? It looks like his shit. granddaughter. Good for I'm him. I'm suddenly hard. <laughs> you don't wow. want to deal with a 30 year old when you're that old. Well, Unless like, she's your nurse. Yeah, but she'd be like enthusiastic about changing you and stuff. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you think that soul patch takes years off <laughs> is he a brooklyn barista <laughs> just out of college coming off a protest Good girlfriend even, not even married has no plans to marry him wow yeah. wow well that sucks for her i know right that's a well, gold mine waiting to happen right there yeah. by the looks of it she probably can't be married to him because she won't have enough time protesting israel <laughs> <laughs> get it out of you <laughs> <laughs> I really stumbled uh, halfway through. I thought, what are you, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, that's good. I'm glad we got through that one. Did you ever write for the Oscars? You wrote for SNL. No, no, I just wrote for SNL, and I was not a good writer. And I realized that, like, um, you know, the good thing about that was, like, it taught me, like, you know, anything I'm writing, I want to write, write for myself, mm. pretty much, you know. And sure. it's like, it was just at that point where I was kind of like learning how to write a joke for me. And then it was like, you know, I was in this big job. But I think, uh, you know, that show, uh, you know, what was going to say? It's a dream of a lot of people. Is that like you saw Shane there? Right? Oh, yeah. He was yeah. awesome on it. Yeah, that was his dream I thought he killed to be it. on that show at, yeah. at one point, right? Who? What? Yeah, he was great. Shane Gillis. He was at the Oscars? No. no, no. Oh, no. oh, I was going to say. I yeah. was like, wow, did I miss that. <laughs> no. Shane won Best Actor for Oppenheimer. Oh, jeez. <laughs> he killed it. That guy is a great actor. He was the bomb. Kill- yeah. Uh, Cillian Murphy. Yeah. He's always a guy from Ireland or England or something like that. It's always one of those guys. Oppenheimer was good, I thought. I yeah, it was good. It. A little long. Do we need an hour after the bomb? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it should have just been a bunch of people like, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. That's, that's and, bad. And no Japan uh, point of view either. <laughs> yeah. I would have liked that. Yeah. Yeah, just like oh fuck oh no yeah, something something <laughs> oh how old uh, <laughs> not too good <laughs> there you go well what about this godzilla minus one have you guys seen this yet? they're raving great. about it Wait, i figured what? they would get it out to the podcast community to spread the word <laughs> <laughs> it's called godzilla minus one yeah it's supposed to be incredible really yeah. he's acapella no <laughs> just him no mothra no mothra no what's it about I think it's Godzilla. It's Godzilla and his love hate with. Who's the one? Is it World War Two or World War One time? 
I think it's World War II. Oh, there's your Japan. I was more of a Godzuki man. Remember her? Yeah, that was that was the good stuff. Remember when? More of a Godfrey. <laughs> we didn't land on the moon. <laughs> All right, so this is their version of Godzilla because they haven't done one in a while. We we kind of took it, you know. You we we appropriated it. it. Uh oh. Is that data from? Oh yeah, from Goonies. Yeah, he's been. I mean, he's been a ton of stuff lately. Everything right? all at he once. Like a huge mm. combat. Yeah. Yeah, so Terrible. Wait, it's not me. I'm a whole dirty type. Yeah, I heard this. This is great. Oh wow. Dave, are there any other long things you want to show? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of buildup. Oh do, do we get to see the? Yeah, yeah, yeah really. New special. I, I hate when. There? See, if they if they shot that in uh, Texas, they would stand their ground. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Come on, lizard man! <laughs> the lizard people. You're on my property. Yeah. I can shoot you. I've like been following you since Hillary Clinton. Gus <laughs> <laughs> was like thinking, like, no, 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 no. It's too late to get rid of it, though. It's already born. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, look at that. Whoa, oh, spiky. Shit. Look at him go. Mm, he didn't take the vaccine. <laughs> I love it. There you go. Hey, who's that? Whoa, Chris Christie? Though. Yeah, what's his name? <laughs> his name is George Fatty Hackett. Hey. He played baseball. He's 450 pounds. Mm. All right. I like back in baseball they could just call people fat. Right. Oh, I was like, oh, Chubsy McGee. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that was that was like before the whole issues with who gets to play what sports. So it was like, he's a fat kid. He was allowed to play. Like, right. why is that? Was there any? Probably good. What happened to him? Anything? Ha- I'll look him up. Yeah. What was, I'm what thinking a well, citizen think it was cardiac good. arrest. <laughs> I'm thinking something, something, Chris Christie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm dry. What do you have? Dude, that was citizen cardiac arrest. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Sorry for that. Wait a minute. Hall of Fame. Oh, you see? He's got to be uh, in the Hall of Fame for like. Oh, is that near the years. Comedy Museum upstate? <laughs> <laughs> or football. Oh. oh, well, there you go. He's huge. Okay. He's the original. I thought he was in for fan. camel toe. Look at that guy. <laughs> Put your oh my god! He's got a just, Put your pajamas on and get out there. He's just stuck in the hall. <laughs> That's when they paid a man what like a dollar to play. I play know, the game. right? He gets hit by every pitch. He's just always on base. Look at that! Oh my god! Fucking baby Huey. That was before. That was definitely before the integration of baseball. Like when a fat white man could play. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> and, I mean, those pants. You so they're saying this is guy is the incarnation of that guy now. Yeah. Look at that! All right, it's Chris He's, Christie. Oh, it is. Yeah, I thought it was. Uh, oh, I thought it was a triple A league. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> triple patty. Awesome. Triple bypass. There we go. And he's right. throwing. A wiener. Was he throwing that ball at Biden or? <laughs> <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> <laughs> when are you going back on the road, Dave? I'll be out there next. I'm going to Austin to the Comedy Mothership. You guys have all done that now. It's, uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ian is like that's like his home club now. Two How many times have you been there? Oh man, a handful. Yeah, okay, so there you go. I did a 5 o'clock show on a Sunday there. I just texted Egit, like, hey, can we do a, I'm bored on Sunday. Can we do a 5 o'clock? Sells out in two seconds. Amazing. It's yeah. just a Amazing. fun room. I, I give Joe the most credit for that because, like, to, like, stick stick to your guns, like, I'm going to do it my way, and, mm-hmm. like, to make a big move like that and to, to like, start in a in town. Let's face it, Austin was always a comedy town, but it was never, like, what, he, what it is now. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, it really is – it is, like – at the front and center of comedy, so and people are moving there like crazy. All these yeah. young kids are moving there like it's yeah. the new LA. Yeah, it's either that or Nashville. Population. Which would you do? I go might go Nashville. Really, really? Whoa. Yeah, I feel like everyone's going to Austin, so I'll you know yeah. I'll bob and weave. Mm. Yeah, and Nashville's a cool town. What about your hometown, New Orleans? When is that ever going to... It's no comedy. comedy city. Why can't it city. take off there? I don't know. I think people want to get drunk. They don't want to listen to your bit about cereal. Mm. You know, they want to get <laughs> hammered. They want to listen to some music don't and dance. Nashville's kind of the same. 
it's better than New Orleans for comedy, that's but it's not. True. But it's not like a great comedy city. It's a music yeah. city. All I know is Zane's. So Nashville Zane. That's a good club. The Ryman, but I'm just saying. The Ryman's great. The Ryman's amazing. A lot of albums at the Ryman. But I do think the culture of the city is music. You walk down the streets, like people just fucking that's blasting. That's true. That tunes. is true. And they're a little god fearing over there, which is mm. bad. But not the people that come to the show. Like the people that move there. I feel like they're kind of L.A. light. Actually, I've gotten some moans and groans down there. Yeah, I agree. It's getting a little sceny. Yeah, mm. posings. Yeah, that's why Huntsville, Alabama, is the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got NASA. that. Yeah, that museum. Yeah, the uh, the Braun. Braun, the yeah. Nazi Nazi astronaut. No, Nazi I was just in Nazi. Vegas at the New Wise Guys, and that was a great one. Oh yeah. yeah, I was there. There was so many comics that live in that town now, and also uh, Jeff was in town, so we I brought him out, and you know we had some fun. And the locals really dig it because they want they don't want to go down on the strip. They don't want to go to those shows. They want to like go to their own thing. Like mm -hmm. even one of the locals was like, man, this is great. It's like kind of just for us. So you know, I had some good shows there. So you guys, I I don't know where you play in Vegas, but you might want to try it. Yeah, Wise Guys, is, I was just there in Utah. It's that's a great club, too. That's a big comedy. I feel like that's another one that's going to pop really hard. Yeah, they got two clubs there now, or three. Mm -hmm. got the and he's got a scene. He built, like, another room for the young comics yeah, in, yeah. in the downtown one. He fucking cares. You and know, Ian, you're great. doing a dry bar soon. You're pretty clean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Christian comic I am. Yeah. <laughs> that's such a lie about Utah, by the way, that whole, like, they don't drink or anything like that. Oh, they party. Yeah, but it's like, yeah, we didn't drink. We just went right to meth. You know, it's like they're <laughs> totally... <laughs> totally hardcore. I think that's Utah sober. <laughs> that's, that's, no, Don't alcohol. chase you on the street. Have you seen the fucking people down there? Oh, they're, wild. they're an unhinged uh, yeah. zombies. Yeah. Oh, you mean uh, the not for like a not for like to read a Bible or anything? Like that. <laughs> no, no. Like, oh, I yeah. wish. I was just in Springfield, Missouri. That's a meth town. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Every town's a meth town. I know. Just yeah. everywhere. Well, San Diego, um, you played the comedy club there, right? Yeah. American that's American a great Classic. one too. La so, Jolla? Uh, no, I played the uh, American Comedy Club. Oh, right, Yeah, right, great right. time there. I wasn't That's allowed to play. There's a lot of great clubs, man. Yeah. They're actually, like, they also have benefited from the, you know, like, you the boom. That. They deserved it, you yeah. know. So, especially the ones like the holding the line clubs, you know. Sure. So, well, those are the ones that are doing well. Well, what happened to you with the American Comedy Club? Well, our, our old agent, he called her a C word. <laughs> and uh, they were like, no one at William Morris can play there anymore. So we're like, all right. No uh, way. Wow, they're offering me more money over there. Oh, my God. Was it an all cap C word? Was it a, <laughs> yeah, yeah, what right. are we talking here? What was the here? context? That's I'm sure they, I'm sure, was that years ago or something? Yeah, it's yeah, I'm sure they would. No, I'm sure it's fine now. So now you have to play the theater and look down on them. You know, like that's always the. <laughs> well, I remember playing know. that La Jolla room is pretty cool, too. That comedy store. Yeah. Right, right. Beach. Mm. It's kind of fun. It's such a mind fuck coming from New York City with rats and hobos, and then you go to that La Jolla. It's right on the beach. It's sunny, beautiful. Palm trees. Oh, even the homeless look like Hugh Jackman. They're fucking. They are good looking. <laughs> right? Yeah, great looking. They really do take care of themselves. You know, um, let's see. I'm going to Austin. I'm going to Brea. How about Brea? What well, that's a great room. room. Ooh, you big. like it? It's yeah, a warehouse. Big room. And is that's also like a weird town. You know, Orange County. Yeah, it's a different vibe out there. It's a lot of like, you know, my dad played guitar, my mom, you know, it's like a lot of L.A., I mean, uh, Orange County stuff, you know? Yeah. Like skateboarding is more important than, you know, reading. <laughs> <laughs> There's a good gun range by there. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, Terran Tactical. Mm. That's where they train. How often do you do that on the road? As much as I can. I love shooting. Really? Yeah, I feel yeah. like I cool. get one, I'm good. I don't really? need to keep going back. I enjoy it. I enjoy because you can calibrate your mistake in the moment. It's all about like focusing your breathing and concentration. And I just like like uh, I don't know the hobby of it. And uh, th this place here in Tackle, that's where they train Keanu you... Reeves for John Wick and everything. Whoa! So they give you like a tactical range. You can go around and like change guns, and it, it's really right before you walk in, they kill your dog and it gets you fired. <laughs> <laughs> it's very Ian real. Ian is a good yeah. shot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a really fun. good shot. I enjoy it. Veter's yeah. a good shot. We, we really? Hit, we hit the gun range in, oh, that's in Springfield, fun. Missouri. And uh, do, you, do you shoot, Dave? I'm an axe man. <laughs> an axe, and I'll throw it at your head. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I've gone with Ian. He is really, he's really good at it. And yeah. um, I always say, like, it's just a shame you're too old for high school. <laughs> could really, could really. I didn't know you were a gun guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got a fucking written house over here. But earlier, <laughs> what did you say again? Like you focus own and own gun. control your breathing. Yeah. What were you saying again? You can focus and you have to control your breathing and you have to work on like your grip because if you grip too hard, you could calibrate. Like, all right, when uh, I shoot, sounds like a 
facial to me. <laughs> Bullseye's just a man's ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ian, stop licking the target. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry. You got to hit right under the tramp stamp. <laughs> But it is funny at the gun range, the guys that come out. I think we were at one, and this guy was doing the quick reload. Yeah. Like he was going to fight, um, like, uh, Superman or something like that. He's like, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> what? Is everyone able to make my wife come? But I can't. Like, oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Like, I was wondering in his mind what the situation he was, right. you know. Right. I like to say, fuck you, Dad, right yeah, before yeah, I yeah. shoot. Uh, uh, okay. Cuck and roll. <laughs> <coughs> It's just one cig, huh? No, I'm going to smoke again. Sig oh, Isle. Yeah, what are your favorite cities to hit, Dave? Uh, well, San Francisco is great. I'd say D.C. is probably my best town. Love yeah. D.C. I mean, like, those crowds are great. Great crowd. They need a laugh out there. It's it's a little, it's kind of a stuffy town. It's a stuffy town, but the people that come see me are coming out of Virginia. You know, oh. they're coming, like, they're the people who, like, live around the government, mm-hmm. and they kind of don't want to hear about it. Yeah. Some of them work in the government, you know, that kind of thing. Do you thing. think they're stuffy because they're like, oh, God, we don't want to hear about politics, or, like, they're on guard? Yeah, I think it's a lot of HR, a lot of government mm-hmm. jobs. You know, they just want to, like, they yeah. got to stay in line. So when you come in there talking about, you know, jizzing in a guy's mouth, like, <laughs> oh, I need this. Yeah, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> they are smart and they also like, are, they're like the best of like the South, like where it's like, you know, they're smart, but they also are Southern. So they like it like a little greasy. You yes. know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. And uh, the same thing, like uh, I would say Charlotte and those towns Love yeah. Charlotte. really Kill popping it. now also, you know. Yeah. I was in Atlanta. I played a theater down there. I haven't done like Atlanta in a long time. And I'll tell you, like, uh, I miss it. That was a great town for comedy, man. With great the punchline there, it was, it's really sad what there, happened. There was I a know. picture of you uh, at the old Laughing School. It was you, Lewis Black, when and you guys Mitch, were, right? And Mitch, right? Yeah, what? yeah. That's a crazy. That's story. a long time ago now. That's like probably over ten years, fifteen years. I mean, he's been dead for a long time. And I know that there's talk of doing something about Mitch now. I think it's way overdue. Mm. I always see a lot of influence in people by yeah. Mitch. Oh so yeah. People People always say, oh, people sound like you. I go, no, Mitch is really the guy. Like, I think he really did influence a lot of people, you know? Definitely. You know, that style, his cadence. Yeah. You know, joke writing wise, I'd say that he does his own thing. Like, people don't do it so esoteric like him, you know? Mm. But uh, other people are like, what is this? What is he doing? I'm like, it's like, like you know, now like pop culture is so big and all that uh-huh. kind of stuff. But it's like it's beyond that, you know. It's like like Zen joke writing. I think. Yes. You know? Yeah. Shang Wang has a little. Of that. Shang is great too. Yeah. That was one of the specials yeah. that I really enjoyed Very watching. Same. I mean, like the guy is a pleasure to watch. He's oh, so yeah. funny. He's great. We did the Burt Kreischer cruise, and Shang Wang was on it. So I was like, let me go watch how these drunk white trash people enjoy yeah. this yeah. Uh, smart Asian man, and he killed. Oh, that's really a killer. He's road. He's road tested. Though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But it's just funny seeing him with the long hair and the glasses. He looks like he's there to like give you a foot massage, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he's just killing with these fucking you know yokels. <laughs> we, Mitch was opening those shows though, right? Um, with you and he Lee. was, but that was only because he was the last add-on. But that was another one where like we you know rotated a bit. But I, I think it was three different crowds coming together, which never really works, by the way. You know, people want to see their person, you know, yeah. like, like I'm the drunk insomniac guy. And then Lewis was his thing. And then Mitch had his people. So I think it was an add on. But he was like kind of up and down in terms of like, you know, where he was with his problems and everything. Mm-hmm. So, you know, but I, I felt especially when we did Minneapolis, he should have closed that show. Like that's mm-hmm. his hometown. His people coming to see him, yep. you know, that he should have done it. And then it was like, for some reason, he didn't. And I think that upset him and, you know, whatever. But he was a rock and roll comic. Oh, you know? yeah. Like, people forget that about him. Like, he really was a rock and roll comic. So, yeah. And Geraldo to some extent, too. Yeah, you know? definitely. Who is probably when you think of like writing and like all that kind of stuff, like, you know, his his stuff holds up. You know? Oh, well, it really it does. does. I can't say the same about mine, but his stuff really does. does. He really like, does. you know, his stuff is tough, tough jokes, you know, smart, smart jokes. Mm hmm. Mm. Just to be on that many drugs and still pumping out such great material. Yeah, he was uh, he really brought it, you know, and he's another guy who like I think uh, if he was around in these times like Patrice and everything like that playing big theaters and all that kind of stuff. It would be amazing to see them in these other type venues that just clubs, you know. Do you feel like you still get the uh, the insomniac psycho booze bags coming out to see you or is that kind of faded? Uh, No, they're they're grown up now, but it's mostly the people that were like in high school who would watch that thing at home who are now older that right. come, that come out but I, I i think that um you know they've all been kind of like you know like we're all beaten up and old now that they get it like you know this is uh 
you know, the one thing I, that used to like help me with a lot of these clubs, they'd be like, all right, you didn't sell out, but our booze sales is like beyond imagination. Like, <laughs> I'm buying a car. <laughs> you, yeah. you know, like that kind of thing. So they still drink pretty, 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 you know, good. But yeah. But I'm sure you probably top me now in terms of like go, people going out and drinking. We get the real hardcore get, alcoholic sometimes to a fault where you're like, all right, guys, you got to let me get this fucking but thing around. Pretty- it makes it harder on you, but I guess yeah. that is part of the experience, right? Do you guys feel like, um, do people offer, they all probably want to do like a shot or All like, day know? long. Yeah. Yeah. I hate yeah. the shot offer because yeah. you want to be nice, but yeah, I would tough. be on the floor if I took every one of them. Yep. And then, yeah, I used to go shot for shot with these people, but it's smart to like not get into that battle, you know. Mm-hmm. But do you do one like at the end or something? Oh like, yeah, what do you do? oh yeah. I mean, more than one. Well, there you go. So well, that's you good. did that uh, special with Geraldo and Dane Cook and Sean Rouse. That, that was Comedy Central's. Like I yeah. said, you know, I remember them yelling at me about that one because I thought Dane at that point was the biggest touring act in America, and like sure. I don't know why he did it, but like for the rest of us, they kind of like threw us in there, and I got. Shane, I got a uh, Sean Sean Rouse in it because I was like, well, if it's going to be another guy, I want one of my guys to do it, you know. And Sean needed a pop, you know. He was like going through, you know, horrible uh, rheumatoid arthritis and all that kind of stuff. But I would say that, uh, you know, if you look at that, like you could break that up into four pieces, and like that's probably a better ride than the all of it together, you know, because mm-hmm. it was so different. And it was really Dane. Dane's the one guy who kind of like had to like lower the bar for it because it was his audience i mean he could have wow. done his own thing you know the rest of us i think we were you know just part of a deal personally. sure but but that was when comedy central's at its most powerful yes you know? yeah they would do a lot of packaging they like to put I comics together for some reason yeah well, they, try they got everything it. wrong except for the digital no that's <laughs> <laughs> ah, the digital's horrific yeah well yeah. you think they just saw the blue collar guys and they're like we'll do our own well yeah, they were always yeah. trying to recreate yeah. that and then i think the kings of comedy actually mm-hmm. seems even more organic and right than whatever you know any of us could come up with but they still like the audience pushes that everywhere I go. They're like, "Bring Sam next time," and I'm like, "Well, then we have to split the check." And then yeah, he's over yeah. here doing his show. I'm doing. If we did like four of us, it'd be cool. That I mean, I would love that. I'd I'm be doing a, a gig with Chris DiStefano and AC. I'm like, I think it'll be fun. Oh, it's you great. Know? We'll, we'll, you know, I think we could do it every once in a while. That's a good thing to do after you like you've done your own exactly. touring, and now they, you give them that. Right. But the problem is every time, like with me and bumping mics and everything, is that you always get the one guy who wants to see the bumping mic show and i'm like dude yeah. where were you where were you at catalina where were you, there? Where were you whatever <laughs> we had them all you know it's like we could have used you then man yeah you know? so true but yeah I, I love working with jen i also like work with the other comics because at this point it's more interesting to have like so many different people on the show you know and i was trying to use locals and everything but like just for laughs i guess you guys must have had a two-part emergency episode on the town <laughs> just for laughs. yeah yeah r.i.p <laughs> So you guys, when when's the first year you guys went there? Do you remember? We were together. I think it was the 2013 mark. I went there in 010 to do some bullshit show, but then the new faces we were was new 2013. Faces. But was- you probably already could smell the downfall, right? At that point. Oh yeah, because we were hearing stories from the 90s where they're like, "I got a, I got a seven figure deal or whatever," yes. and we're mm-hmm. like, "Cool, I, I got an agent." Yeah, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> yeah, but the class of the guys that went with you were like. We had a good, we had crew. A good group. Your we crew a, was awesome. We had a good year. Yeah. But I, I like how the deal got worse and worse. Year, It's like, oh, yeah. At first, it was like hotel travel. It's on us. Then it was like fly yourself up. Then it was fly yourself up, put yourself up. Yep. Then it's like feed yourself. <laughs> it's like, you know, like uh, we're going to basically we're going to drop you in the middle of the town. <laughs> you know, French. Because you might need French <laughs> to get it to get to the venues. Oh, I remember yeah. that you're waiting for like a 40 person shuttle. You're like, what yeah. the fuck? oh yeah, <laughs> like where's right. the pickup for this thing? You just going <laughs> at the airport. I know, and some of the shows had no people. That that was how we did they go broke the party. with what they were paying us? Is the question. That is true. Good I think point. it was the offshore money. I think a lot of it. <laughs> I think it all went to Gad Amala or whatever. It go, like, <laughs> yeah, it all, all the money goes like through us into Russell One Peters. Frenchman. Yeah. No, but it was a, it was always a fun time and the. People who run yeah. it did really love comedy. It's just I, I guess the business of it didn't hold up. For but sure. there's how many comedy festivals are there now? Like a hundred, you know? Like yeah, I mean, there's a lot. I think the Netflix one swallowed up a lot. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I don't know how the city holds on to that. It's like we're gonna go see Seinfeld, Gaffigan, Joe List, Nate Bargatze, uh, me. Uh, Hari Kanda Boo Boo, you know, it's like, mm-hmm. how do they have enough people to go see all these acts? John yeah. Mulaney, Chris Rock, Dave Chappelle. It's crazy. And what a uh... You know, that, that's another hardcore. Um, it's in L.A., you know, and we all know those crowds. I mean, like, that's sure. going to be a tough one. 
I guess yeah. people fly in or come out of Bakersfield. Well, now it's going to be like a fest because there's so many, and people are going to fly in for it. Oh, well, yeah. the the fact that they're doing all the shows at the Hollywood Bowl, I mean, like that's cool. That I think is 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 what it should be about. You know? Yeah, Nate the Oracle, he's at uh, the Hollywood <laughs> Bowl twice. He's both sold out already. Wow. With he's, Seinfeld and Sebastian. It's more of a manger when he plays that. <laughs> kind of thing. I'm doing the Hollywood Improv Labs. For that uh, I'm like, if I don't sell this out, I'm going to kill myself. Uh, <laughs> guys, go see Ian in the Hollywood Improv yeah, Labs. Please. Let's put this yeah, on the map. Seven seater. <laughs> be the saddest suicide note ever. I couldn't fill 90 seats. I know. I know. <laughs> I'll go down to Skid Row, pass out flyers. Each joke, I'm just loading up. Yeah. The gun. That's so always, the aim's going to come in handy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's always weird when you walk through the improv in LA, the Melrose, and they have the lab going, and yeah. like, you know, you're like, hey, I'm quiet. <laughs> <laughs> somebody's, somebody's inventing something yeah. in here. <laughs> like, test tube getting bored or something. Yeah. An Indian girl is talking about being molested. <laughs> We're tiptoeing around so dark. Yeah. What's going on here? So when's the last time you thought about relapsing? What was the closest? Mm, Vegas last week. No, oh, Vegas. really? Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I thought that was when you met P. Diddy <laughs> recently. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I never. I, I'd say that the cigarettes and the coffee are pretty much um, the way to go right now. But I think down the road, like after the comedy, because I'll be at forty years in like three years. So oh, wow. I think after that, oh, I'd love to come back ah. by the way i gotta say one thing is that like uh you know at 40 when i hit 40 that's when i should really like just start like power like uh you know blow uh which cough syrup all that kind of stuff hell yeah mm, that's great all right so no but i don't i don't really i, I don't know i don't know but if you're if your uh sobriety kind of stinks too he'll tell you like <laughs> it's a long day <laughs> i love yeah. it i love well you're you're high on life yeah Spoken. And guns. He's a one man call. Guns. <laughs> I just love life and guns and the Second Amendment. <laughs> Hell yeah. You're getting laid. You're yeah. doing great. Yeah. But what about the other 23 hours a day? Uh, like you know, when oh, you're laying when alone I'm in your bed. Calling people. <laughs> trying to get outside of my own head. <laughs> <laughs> I love the road doing like activities and everything. Like I've been bringing my like childhood best friend with me. He's not a comic. Really? And yeah, his wife left him. He got divorced. He has all this free time. So I'm like, dude. You got a good job. Come out. And he does. Imaginary? (laughs) He's sitting behind Salicuse. You don't see him? Uh, No, it's the best, man. We like do a bunch of shit together and we hang out. It feels like being a kid. We share a hotel room, watch movies at night. So I'm not out getting pussy. It's fucking great. Well, we we go on a ski trip every year. Me, Ari, Gillis, all these guys. And you came and you were a... A breath of fresh air. We wake up. You're making breakfast at a nighty, yeah. and uh, you know every night he would tell us stories. Yeah. And you, know, you would drive everywhere because yeah. we were all hammered. Yeah, I loved nice. it. Yeah, I'm. I, I activities keep me. Uh, keep me all right. When I start to isolate and I don't do shit, that's when I'm like, huh? A yeah. drink would make this more fun. Wow. You know? Yeah, I remember. I think it was in town when you guys uh, actually cock blocked me with some shows because you're like. Oh, I'm like, can we add a Thursday at the uh, at the Wise Guys in Utah? It's like, no, Norman and Ari are coming in for their ski adventure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and like, it's already sold out, dude. So yeah. sorry. And I go, all right, well, how about this? Sun-? No, they'll be back from their adventures. Uh, <laughs> you know, they like to like sorry. decompress and yeah. make some money. Or I'm like, OK. That's the year I went with you guys. I did the weekend with you. Yeah. Yes. And then my flight kept getting, getting delayed. So I was like, I'm just going to hang in the green i got i'm getting kicked out of the hotel uh, and then you guys are like you're coming on the ski trip it all works cancel out. your great. spots i'm like but sd well, and you're like what are you gonna do the the lounge yeah. get out of here <laughs> well did you get arrested that week at i the did airport? yeah what happened i got arrested for uh class four felony weapons charges they found brass knuckles on me at the <laughs> airport in newark and my one call in jail was to him Whoa. to go hey I'm, I'm gonna miss the first show <laughs> oh. <laughs> but my criminal he knew defense that attorney, i worked airport security <laughs> Boston on 9 10. <laughs> my criminal defense attorney, J Bones, my childhood friend's brother, got me a criminal mischief misdemeanor, so I'm good. Hell yeah. Criminal yeah. mischief is such a yeah. funny term. Yeah. Oh, you he little naughty guy. Uh, now little we call that punch a cop. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you have brass knuckles on you? Yeah. Because the city's in shambles. I, you know what? I, I, I hear that. I mean, but yeah. that's your Sam grew up here, so he could actually tell us yeah. how different it is. Like when you were a boy getting mugged, is it different as a man now when you're being <laughs> stomped? Well, dude, 
dude, a bunch of comics were getting assaulted on the way home from the cellar. At like three a bunch. AM. Yeah. Just Joe List. Well, Tom Takard, <laughs> oh, Steve really? Rogers, Sean Donnelly. Really? They've got a type. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. wow. Unthreatening whites. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, List won't even. He goes straight from his house to the front door of the club. Now. I know. He's a nervous Nelly. He's just gonna start walking around with the gun out and. Why doesn't he hide in the shed like the rest of us? <laughs> that shed in front of the club really shows like a class operation, right? What shed? The, the food shed. The outdoor shed in front of the oh, cellar. Yeah. The unused shed, shed just yeah. for Steve and you know, yeah. Taco or Tabasco or whatever his name is at night. Tabasco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people are it's sketchy all around. Yeah. I, I get bringing a weapon, man. Well, they I, I forgot I had it in my in my coat and I'm like, you could throw it out. And then they found another pair in my other pocket. I was like, fuck. Two brass knuckles? What do you know? You got them Two like hands. this. Nice. And then, um, and then I, I'm like, look, I'm not a threat. You found it in the same pocket as a, as a donut <laughs> like, and a mustache comb. Like, I'm a clown. Like, right. let me go. The toys. Know? Yeah. The yeah. toys. Tango and cash. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan and Jensen. <laughs> Zip and zop. I'm like, all right, sir. <laughs> But I'm glad you're okay. And yes. It was a hell of a ski trip. It really was. I always man. thought about great. that because whenever you play hilarities in Cleveland, they give you that that bat. Yeah. They give me brass knuckles. They, like they give you a wooden oak, set of brass oak, knuckles yes. yeah. and a baseball bat. But I'm like, am I allowed to? And he's like, you'll be fine. And I just heard about you, and I was like, am I going to be okay? Yeah. <laughs> Let it out. Nice. Thanks for directing that towards me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go with the smoke. You'd be all Even right. the dog. No, Even when he's didn't smell a comment. <laughs> hey, so what about like I, I said to Ari, I go, this ski thing is great. You guys should get like a show like a travel channel. Like you could ski around the world or something. So what's going on? No, it's just for no. fun. That's what's the best part about it. It's just like going out and having a cabin and having fun and not worrying about like content or anything. Yeah, we make you know? dinner. We play music. Yeah. We put on a special and trash it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we did Captain Miserable. Yeah. Oh, boy. That must have been crazy. <laughs> I sent over I love that one, dude. I was I watching did you guys a- take your snow pants off for that <laughs> yeah. one? I was watching the Jaeger commercials the other day. That's a classic bit. Dude, the new one, I'm telling you, was right up there with it. It's yeah. so good. I heard it's Louis Cat so good. Raven. All, the, yeah. all Dave's stuff. I mean, nah, you've, seen, you've seen him. I never really, uh, I never. Uh, Look at that. Yeah. Did you show them the preview for it today? It's insane. Uh, yeah, they saw it. They, they oh, you did the, the trailer? Yeah. It's mm-hmm. insane. Ian's in it. Yeah. And, oh, uh, nice. He does the announce. Yeah. Hell yeah. And he had him uh, in the, the outro. Yeah, don't oh, give it sorry, away. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. I think that 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 would make also like a good um, pointing at a seafood restaurant to the bathroom. <laughs> this way mateys yeah, right. and the lasses go in here you do look like a new long john silver <laughs> right. it does look like I, I'm, I'm questioning the mayor what are you gonna do about yeah. comptroller speaks <laughs> Well, thank you, fellas. What a we what a what a, what a great uh, what a great ride! I cannot wait for the special. I can't so wait pumped. either. I'm, and I'm uh, you know, I I wish I could see you guys more because I always love watching you guys work on the material and everything. Too. These guys really are like the pace cars now. I think of of uh, you know, especially writing and stuff like that. But you guys, man, the commitment. Honestly, we talk about it on the road all the time. I'm like, how you guys pump it out and turn it over and all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's always. Yeah. Can't you be more like Mark? Mark's doing. <laughs> no. like, shut up, Dave. <laughs> I mean, but you know. I don't know how you shake yourself out of the dry spells, but I guess you guys get them as well, correct? I'm in it right going. now. I, yeah, yeah. I got to got to just do weird shit, I think. She's got to do an Yeah, activity. but you guys always say that, and then I, I'm watching, and I'm like, this is fucking great. Like, even, like, the shit that you're throwing at the wall is so funny. Well, you yeah. dust off an old one you couldn't crack. You got to just that's keep That's what going. I did, well, yeah. That's... I was so worried, and I started to do old stuff and adding, and, and I'm like, oh, okay, because I, I don't know if you guys feel this way, but I hate myself, and I'm like, sure. you're yeah. never going to oh, make yeah. anything Again, I, that's how I feel every joke. You're, like, you're, how did I write the line? Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, Guess I love that playing at the cellar that I had nothing yesterday. He's like, that's what Norman always says, and I was like, yeah. Well, we fucking both are just after you dump shit, you're used to bombing, you know. Also, what's the alternative? Going like, I got so many ideas. You know, <laughs> it's better to be this way, I, I think. Guess. If we weren't trying to produce. No, I I feel like you got to grind the material till till like it just like that. The way to break out of the funk is to just grind the stuff that you hate to like you're like okay now i can't even physically like say these words anymore i hate it so now new stuff has to come out of that yes ash heap you know that's what yes. the road does to you but i mean you know watching you every night the cellar for years just doing new shit every night you're Go like, on. Oh, i gotta write jokes <laughs> yeah, well you know you do and you guys yeah. uh like i was 
I think the last time I saw you was with the Stephen Hawkins thing. I was like, oh, that's oh, thanks. that's perfect. Yeah, that was right. <laughs> that was a real uh, That was a, a real perfect hit. You know, thanks. and uh, you know, I would say that uh, you know, probably the ones we throw away, they're always worth bringing back to like right. reexamine them. You probably. know, probably I got like a that. Lewinsky chunk. I can. I'm not giving up on. <laughs> I was in Vegas and I'm like. Looking at, my, I always bring my old notes on the road now to see maybe there's like something there sure. I can save, you know, Schindler style. Maybe bring this one back, <laughs> you know, back into the light. Yeah. And yeah. it was like I caught it. I was like, oh yeah, Vegas. You know, like uh, they blow up the buildings. You know, when they're done with them, it's like, like that's so cool. And then I realized I had the same joke for like an '09 and oh. then like '05. You know, it was like one of those things. Just never turned into a joke. But right. it was just like even my ideas are old. You know, even my fails are old. I was like, oh, that's. Do you like, have like old documents, like notebooks? Uh, terrible. Terrible. Yeah. You've never seen me at a Panera Bread, <laughs> leaving for endless amounts. Of- <laughs> what's the what's the uh, code again? I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Your Wi-Fi is down. I don't know if anyone else told you in here. <laughs> Sitting uncomfortably between two lawyers on lunch. <laughs> well, Hot Cross Buns, Netflix, one of the best ever. I, oh, thanks yeah. for having Holy me, fellas. Right. You know, king, and I got to say one thing ever. about Ian. I've been working with him yeah. uh, for uh, how long? We've we been working out together. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's 2018. Yeah. I see big things for Ian. Ian is so funny, Ian's so funny. naturally yeah. gifted. We yes. love Ian. You guys Ian is that. Ian is so fun to watch and so funny and uh, and so Ian at the cellar. Man, you don't host there as much anymore. But like when you used to host there, it was like, oh, we're following someone who's killing, yeah, but being like personal and yeah. then like it, like you put the crowd in such a good place, man. I yes, that. great. Always energy. so many so many funny. Thank bits. you, I appreciate that. And and I'm in. I was in the outro of his special. He's in the outro of mine. Hey. I have a special coming out. When's it coming out? Uh, in April. It's called Ian Fidance Wild Happy and Free. Woo, uh, baby. On- you want to know the difference? I paid him. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a cough. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you got to come back. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, I'd love that. You guys are are the best. Yeah. Man. Hell, and you hosted. I got this. You hosted yeah. the special. I got this and my uh, on the roof one. That's right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, wow. man. That was the coolest thing. I just you... like being around Ian's energy, man. Good energy. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, people love you so much. I was getting shine from just <laughs> like hosting your special. Wow. People were like loving it, man. So oh, it's really right. well, cool. Job fest yeah, over. it's uh, well. Wait, do I get bro. to you, Marky? Uh, <laughs> oh, hey, then we got. Our where's where's that gun you have? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go, folks. Check it out. Uh, Hot Cross Buns on Netflix. And see Dave on the road. He's going to be in Pittsburgh, Philly. Uh, where is that? Welch. Welsh, Minnesota. Minnesota. Yeah, casinos, Woo! baby. Treasure Island. Charlestown. Yes. West Virginia. City. Salt Lake City. That's Wise guys relapse. are classic. Look at Old that. New York. Uh, Macon, what, Georgia. Charleston, Macon. I'm on the Stop the Steal tour. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I want a recount. <laughs> Boy, hello. Letter classic. tour. Oh, Chicago at the Den. That's a that's a great. Room. Now you you hit me to that room. I take that special room. There. Yeah. I love that room. room. Yeah. That's a beautiful beautiful gig. That was a great special. Love buddy. it. Thank yeah. you, man. All right, Ian, where are you going to be at here? We got some dates. Yes, ianfidance.com for all my dates. Uh, May 5th, I'm at the Hollywood Improv for the Netflix is a Joke Festival. Awesome. Creek in the Cave, the 5th and 6th of April. And I just added a bunch of stuff. Zany Chicago, April 19th and 20th. So Damn, all right. And the special's on YouTube.com. You'll be in Gaza next. That's going to be huge. Good Lord. (laughs) Thank you. I'm really excited. So so (laughs) condescending. Wait, what did he say? No, nothing. (laughs) Improv Labs, Freak in the cave. Oh, oh, no. yeah. I you suck. can see him at the uh, Port Authority. I'll be, um, I'll be standing in front of the stand. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, I, and, I'm, I, I asked everyone. Yeah, I want to no, see your dates. Uh, no, I'll be in Atlantic City with Chris in June. I'll add more stuff. Oh, I got to write an act first. I'm, I burned everything. That's all right. Out. What do you got? 10, 15 uh, in the bank? 10, maybe. Okay, that's something. Me too. Like yeah. about 15 minutes. Nothing. That's about it. Oh, boy. 10 if I'm being kind to myself. I don't really even have a good time. Do you tell people? on the road like i'm building and so then i would do, do that at like the end it? of the show yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I would, after i do like an hour i'd be like all right here's some new after shit. you say no refunds right <laughs> <laughs> now let me see tell you what you were part of right now <laughs> lock the doors <laughs> <laughs> it's like a rebuild year for a team you know it's like hey we gotta see who's good at what blow that up a little like let's this. see yours over here oh all right all right oh god okay. oh boy you gotta i did a rad 
Uh, <laughs> Albuquerque, Memphis, uh, Little Rock, nice. Bristol, Knoxville, Chattanooga, Syracuse, Ooh, Buffalo. I'm doing the rock. sad tour. No, that's a great one. Chattanooga and Knoxville. Oh, really? Two of my favorite. Oh, mm. great. I'm Memphis, telling horror. Great... This is the uh, connecting flight tour. I yeah. think. Uh, that Arkansas <laughs> one. Spot Good luck with the Arkansas, buddy. Yeah, I know, right? God yeah. damn. <laughs> Need a prop plane. Uh, Minneapolis, <laughs> Madison, Bloomington, Evansville. Oh, hey. Ma- Madison's another great town. Great, great town. Great, town. Great, great club. Marigolds for breakfast in Madison. Marigolds, okay. Yeah, get a good little omelet and mm. you know, Canada, west side of Canada, Royal Oak, Love Royal Oak, Fort Wayne, yes. West Palm, Fort Myer, New Haven. You, you uh, Mark Norman Comedy. Fort Myer's rough. Wow, yeah. dude. That's a lot of dates. Every weekend. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. What else am I doing? Well, Come I got on, it right man. so I can get back to it, man. But yeah, Bodega Cat Whiskey, Bodega Cat uh, Whiskey dot com. Yeah. yeah, how's that going, fellas? We're very close to having New York distribution in the okay. next in the next two months. It's going to be done, it seems. So. Hey, you have my word. If I ever relapse, it's on Bodega. Yes, yeah. great, uh, clip that. Uh, That's great. <laughs> can we get it out of Bodega or not? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we love you guys. Check out Dave's special and look out for Ian's coming out very soon. See you next week, guys. Thank you.